Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about wingtips. And uh, let's get going on them and see what we need to get done. All right, here we are holding the wingtip in place. Um, a couple people asked how to do this, right? And so uh, I'm just going to belly up and put my belly up against the wingtip right now. It's, it's actually fairly secure in the wing right now. You can tell here's that notch that we're looking for, for the alignment on. And then I've got two millimeter, or sorry, two centimeters going all the way across 20, 20, uh, 20 millimeters. And I got a little line right there, pencil line. And when I put my belly against it, it works. Uh, <laughs> this one is already against it. You can tell there's a bit of a gap up front, but that's what the, what the strap is gonna be for, right? I've got the, um, the heavy, pad here. In this case, it's my carpet straps. And uh, I got two of them, one for the front of it, one for the back of it. I also have uh, a piece of foam there as well to uh, to do this fully. But um, as we go, we're going to put the strap on this back edge, right? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to come across like this, basically. And we're going to tighten it, and we're going to try to close that gap some more it probably won't go perfect but that's just the way it is and then we'll we'll fix it with uh with super fill at the end all right so uh i also have uh nobody saw this yet uh <laughs> i have a, a in-flight gopro mount screw here uh i'll take the wing tip off in a second and you can see what i did but i basically made a little extra support bracket it's already against the rib uh, but I, I did a I did another bracket just to help secure it a little bit more, give it a little bit more strength as well. But that's a that's a number eight screw right now, and uh, yeah, in flight's going to provide a a different screw. Uh, but it's a again it's a number eight. It's the skin is dimpled with a number eight, and the rib is dimpled with a number eight, basically 4.1 millimeter drill bits, and then. Um, there is a uh, kind of nutsert uh, there as well that's holding it all together. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom of the wing real quick, just so you guys can see as well, right? And we'll close this gap up here as well. But uh, you can tell I've left a couple rivets off there just to make sure we can fit the skin nice and easy. And I did the same on the top, right? I left when I did this uh, when I did this edge. I left uh, one extra rivet off so that I have the room, right, for the the skin to kind of give way a little bit to to make room for that edge. So that part's good. Let's take this a wing tip off real quick, and then you can kind of see what's going on on the inside. And yeah, I used uh, that metal piece there as the straight edge, right. And so on the inside here, you can see there's my foam block right that I cut. And uh, what I did there is I just went in, uh, let me put everything down. I got my drill bit there ready to go my, with my 3.1 millimeter drill bit. Uh, and I'll upsize it after I'm done drilling the holes. But yeah, I had this, I had this uh, foam material right from the packing. I can't remember what came with it, but you know, I had it for a while. And what I just did is I rubbed it against this wing edge, right? And it, it kind of got an imprint there. You can kind of see the two lines. And then I just cut it against the lines. And so that foam block is sitting right there at the biggest part of the, of the wing tip. Uh, without the block in the wing tip itself, the wing tip was really droopy. And there was a big gap on this side. And this foam helped take care of that big gap. Yeah. And so, uh, what else? Well, let's, uh, let's get this part done. Um, there's still a whole bunch of work to do, right? So once, once the holes are drilled, uh, there needs to be countersunk done. So 120 millimeter, uh, angle drill bit. It's uh, for countersink and, um, they're going to be the, the 3.2 millimeter, um, countersink right on those. And then all of these uh, dimpling is going to happen as well. 
except for uh, on the back. On the back, there's um, there's not dimpling happening on some of the back. So I need to go back and I need to mark those as well. Uh, off the top of my head, I think it's these last four or five holes, something like that, that don't get it. Uh, but we'll take a look at the at the specs and then we'll make sure those are right before we uh, before we do anything too crazy there. So, oh yeah, let me show you the uh, the in-flight bracket that I made. And you can just tell, it's just laying, it's, a, it's another piece right there that's just laying, uh, supporting uh, the, the rib itself. And then it's going through uh, that rib as well and onto uh, the spar there. So it's got, it's got a good, amount of support and uh yeah that's going to be nice nice and strong for that gopro mount all right that just took a couple minutes here you can tell the gap is better but it is going to need some super fill on it honestly uh it is this is as tight you can tell it's the strap is tight on there and that's about as tight as i want to go uh, it looks good on that regard. And you can tell right here, we've got what we want there by the notch. The lines are lining up and that's good. And the same thing's happening on the bottom. Now the bottom, I'm going to have to move the strap a little bit to, to get to all the rivet lines. But I'll let the drilling begin. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's how that's gonna end up looking. I also have to do work on the nav light, but I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do all the fiberglass work and all that at the same time. So I'm gonna get the, the, the wing tip off and then I'll, I'll worry about the nav light here in a, in a little bit as well. But, uh, yeah. Let's do it. Here we are, 
everything's drilled it's laying there now while i have it like this i'm going to do the other wing tip real quick and then i'm going to come back to look at the the nav light side of the house i might as well get that hole done and see what we got going on but yeah same thing on the bottom on the bottom, I used a lot of Clicos just to give it a nice, smooth cut along there. So yeah, that's it. All right, y'all. One thing we didn't talk about is there are, of course, there's a, a rib. Sorry about the upside down. Uh, the rib goes down here, right? So how do we do that? Well, we have these hole finders, which uh, allow us to to drill, and you know they're kind of cool. So um, when I relieve the pressure on this skin, I'll be able to to kind of get in here, right? And I'll be able to find the hole, match it, and then drill it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw I'm going to draw a line down from this side, and I'm going to just draw it straight down here, and then have that have this. Kind of follow the line all the way down to where we need to. Let's take a look at the other wing real quick where that's happening and you can kind of see that uh, that rib a little bit more clearly right so here we here we have what's going on right so what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna line up on the hole and we're gonna hold it like this and we're gonna drill through that hole. And we're gonna do that, of course we're gonna do it from this side, right? But but we're gonna find the hole, drill, 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 find the hole, and drill. So we're gonna do that as we go, but uh, we gotta relieve the pressure before we, before we can totally get in there, right? Because we gotta get that little nubby in you get that little nub that fits in there so we need a little little space to uh to get that accomplished right so these things uh aircraft spruce a couple bucks you know the drill all right y'all getting these last two holes particularly this one and this one is the hardest to do. And so what I've had to do, of course, is I've taken all the Clicos out and then I take the, the wingtip off and then I set the hole finder in place. And then I put it all back together again so that I can uh, get the drilling done. But the rest of them, I was just able to loosen the, the Clicos and then uh, use the hole finder and do the drilling and that looks pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the wing tip and the rivets that we're gonna use and what we're gonna countersink and what we're gonna do with the regular rivets as well. All right, so uh, the bottom is the easiest one to figure out. And so on this pattern, you already see the 989 here and this is the bottom edge and this goes uh, to, it makes uh, basically the hook there. Now. The, the trailing edge, the edge of this rib, it gets 998, which are solid rivets. On the front of the wingtip, you see 989 and you see 12X, and that kind of wraps around, right? That does the, the front and the, uh, the bottom and the top. And in the back of the top, you see 998s and you see 10, basically going from the uh, from the skin where they mate to uh, the uh, to the end as well. Let's take a look though, because this, this is kind of confusing. Let's take a look how it looks on the wingtip itself. All right. So here we have the uh, the wingtip itself, and this is the bottom of the wingtip. And so our uh, countersunk. So I, I just marked everything with a C, right? Because I'm going to countersink all of these. And then right here in this hook, I'm gonna do countersink, countersink, and then solids. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight solid. 
Let's take a look at the other side here. So flip this over, and now we're looking at the top. Now we're doing uh, countersink, 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 countersink. So six up front, and then the seam, the rib seam basically happens right here, right? So countersink, countersink, countersink. And then we'll go solids from there, the dome rivets, right? And so these are all going to be the regular solid dome rivets all the way back, right? So that's what we got here. Countersink, 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 countersink. So these I just have to dimple. That's the easy part, right? Dimpling this stuff. And the instructions originally said those. When you're putting the skin together first, you don't dimple any of these. Now that the uh, wingtip's been fitted, we'll go back and dimple. And then these are, of course, the, the tip, which are all solid from, from that perspective. All right, that's what we gotta do. And so these will all get done. And uh, we'll take a look after that to see what it looks like. All right, so here we have the uh, countersink drill results, and that goes for both sides. And of course the dimpling, nothing fancy there, but everything is dimpled. And so that part looks good. Tools we're using for this, again, the pneumatic squeezer. And then this uh, pneumatic drill, and it's got the half inch, 120 degree, uh, with the number 40 pilot. And remember that I used the 3.1 millimeter drill bit, and that fits perfectly with the number 40. And it gives you that, that solid hole, or again, we purposely drill these holes a little bit small to make sure that we'd hit that pilot size and not have any wobble when we're doing uh, the countersink. So you have to think one step ahead, right? When you do this, you wanna make sure. I use that uh, 3.1 millimeter and this countersink fits perfectly. So it doesn't, doesn't give you any wobble, it sits in straight and there's no, there's no movement on that pilot head because this thing, again, when you, when you take a look, it has that pilot head, right? And that little tip fits perfectly inside that. Cool. All right, well, so uh, that takes care of that side of the house. Not much else to do on this wingtip. I did mark out the holes for where the light is gonna go. And so that's on there. Um, the only thing that we gotta do now is just drill the three holes, you know, the wiring hole, the riv nut hole, and um, the pin for the light. And you can tell on the lights themselves, here's this one. Let's see which one it is. Uh, this one is G for green. So WPSTG green. And uh, so that's not for the left wing. This one is WGTR. Uh, Remember the, the R and the G show you the color of the light without even having to turn it on. But hole one is for the screw. Hole two is for the cable. Hole three is for this pin, and it goes in there. There's a gasket as well that comes in the kit, right? So it has this kit gasket that you can use as a template also. And then you can see there's the three holes. And yeah, that's the gasket they provide for it. All right, let's revisit these uh, wing tips. And what you can tell is I've started putting in the uh, rivet washers and they're go in right now and they're glued all these holes now are drilled to uh, 
the 3.3 as well. So that's great. And these washers are, um, are these guys and uh, air aluminum washers, uh, one eighth package of 100 and uh, aircraft spruce. All right, uh, the other one, oh, you look at that. Uh, <laughs> this is the uh, Bob Archer antenna. And as you can tell, it is going in just the same way. Uh, you do have to drill through it, of course, that makes the grounding contact as well with the body of the aircraft, right? So um, these rivets will go through, uh, they'll hold the airframe and uh, that's part of the antenna itself. And it goes pretty far back in the tip. So um, what I've got is I've got a, uh, a fiberglass kit and I'm gonna put a loop of fiberglass over the antenna in two to three spots and that will secure the antenna and keep it from flopping around uh, in the aircraft once, uh, once it's put in place. So yeah, that's how that's gonna look and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, y'all, we did some uh, fiberglass work over the morning and really secured in the Bob Archer antenna. So we did some lapping on uh, three points on the antenna itself. And then I just created the, a little loop here as well. And that, uh, that loop is gonna help hold that uh, antenna cable in place also. And uh, for that, we just used some West Systems. They make a, uh, like a boat repair kit. Uh, and that has the, the resins in like pre-measured things. It has a cup and all that kind of stuff. And that worked out super well. And I also uh, did the similar loop here on the other wingtip. And I just created a little um, loop and that just helps kind of guide the cable over. Some people use um, some, uh, some of those uh, zip tie kind of cable mounts and they uh, epoxy those into place. I just I just used a, a piece of tubing and then lapped fiberglass on that as well. And that thing is not going anywhere for life. And so, um, yeah, that's perfect as well. All right, and just real quick, here's that uh, fiberglass epoxy kit. It's the uh, 105K. It ha has some gloves, it has some loose fiberglass fill, it has some of the matting, and it has the pre-measured uh, little um, uh, oh, packets, right, that you can tear open and then uh, do that with. So it, uh, it worked really nice, it worked really well. I'm super happy with it. And uh, anywhere else that I need to do fiberglass with, this kit will probably last the, the rest of the plane, um, I presume. It had that fiberglass uh, piece is actually pretty big. So uh, I'm happy with it. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap it up on today's video. Uh, as you can tell, uh, the wingtips are fairly close to uh, being ready to be mounted. We've got some other stuff uh, happening around there. Can't quite show it yet. I'll, I'll make a quick video on it as well. We got another box back there. Uh, we'll talk about it sometime. And uh, let's just get these wings out of here. Uh, they're, they're super close to, to being done. And they look super cool. So uh, excited. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.